welcome back. This is take two of this video. I had to completely start over because someone had to come in and use the bathroom. Because we only have two bathrooms with six people. So anyway, um, this is Sunday Stash. And for those of you who are new, this is a weekly makeup basket type of video. I will tell you the products that I've been focusing on using over the last week and kind of what I thought about them. So I will just go in order that I have been putting them on my face. I have been using my Flower Beauty In Your Prime Perfecting Primer. Um, I only have a little bit of this left. I'm down to like right here. So you'll probably see this a lot lately because I'm going to try to go ahead and finish that off. It is one of my favorite drugstore primers. It's really similar to the Smashbox primer. Um, I have been using for my foundation the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I love this foundation. I did a full review of it uh, not very long ago, so you can check that out if you want to. I have this in 103 Natural Buff, and then I've also been using the powder that goes with that, and I pulled the sticker off that had the number on it, but I think it was in 200 was the color, a light color. Uh, for my concealer, I've been using this Eddie Funkhauser concealer that I got in one of my subscription boxes. I really like this concealer and it's only like $14. So I'm trying to decide if I want to purchase it when I'm done. The sample has lasted me a really long time and this is in the color Light. Okay, for the rest of my face, I've been doing one of two things. I've either been using the um, bronzer and blush and highlight in the Lorac Resort Palette or I have been using the Wet n Wild uh, Color Icon. This is in Ticket to Brazil, which I really, really love. And then for blush, using Down Boy from The Balm, which is just absolutely gorgeous. And then the Chella or Shella um, Ivory Lace Highlighter Crayon. I usually don't like crayons, but I absolutely love this one. I got it in a subscription box, and it is definitely worth giving a try. Um, you do have to sharpen it, so you will need one of those fatter sharpeners, but absolutely love it. In the Lorac Resort Palette, I've been using this color for my bronzer. It is a little bit dark for me right now, but if I just use a really light hand, then it works pretty good. I tried both of the blushes. I do like this one a little bit better right now, but I think this one will look absolutely beautiful um, when my skin is a has a little bit more color for the summer, and then I've been using this color for my highlight. So I really like that, but I think I might be putting it away until um, I do have a little bit more color to my face. Um, okay, for my eyebrows, I've been trying to finish up this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Sculptor in Dark Brunette. It is taking forever. I'm getting ready to sharpen it again, so we'll see um, how much it is left, but you may continue to see this for a little while as I try to finish that up. For my eye primer, I've really just used one this week, and I've been using my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Branded. It's from the Metals Collection, and it's just a kind of a shimmery taupe color. Um, I absolutely love these for eye bases. They are inexpensive and easy to find, and they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's see, for the rest of eyes, I'm digging through my basket here and I'm missing one. There it is. Okay, for my tight line, I've still been using that Cativa liner. This is absolutely fantastic. I got it in one of my subscription boxes. It's a waterproof automatic eye pencil. It draws on so easy and it stays put all day and I am absolutely loving it. I think that this might be my holy grail tight line product. Stay tuned, I will let you know as I continue to use it more. For my upper lash line, I've been using my Jessie's Girl Liquid Liner. If you haven't tried this, this is absolutely fantastic. One of the best liquid liners that you're going to find at the drugstore. Unfortunately, they don't sell it around here anywhere. I picked this up in Alabama when I was on vacation last summer. So I love the tip. It's very flexible. It comes to a nice point. Um, it's not quite as dark as like my Kat Von D um, tattoo liner, but you can just make a couple swipes and then it's absolutely fantastic. For my mascara, 
I've been using this Clinique High Impact Mascara. I've kind of been digging through my drawers in preparation for um, that, the organization and um, clean out video series that I have coming up. I actually went and bought um, a whole bunch of organizers the other day, so that is coming up. Um, I will have a video coming up very soon. I've already filmed it and uploaded it. I'm just, I just haven't shared it yet with my vanity tour and makeup collection. So that's coming too. But I was digging through my drawers to try to use some of the products that I have to see if I want to keep them or not. And this is in the color Brightening Black. And I think that this got shoved to the back of my door because it, it's not a black, black, black. Um, it's a brightening black. It's, you can see there it's kind of got a little bit of a blue tint to it. And I think that the first few times I tried this, I didn't really like it. But I like it now. So I'm not really sure why I didn't like it before. But I absolutely love it. I think I'm not sure that it necessarily does anything to brighten my eyes. It's not quite as dark of a black as I'm used to, but I think that it does a great job covering my lashes and it's really great for like an everyday mascara. It's not going to give you hooker lashes, but it is going to give you really great lashes. For eyeshadow, I've been using either the shadows in the Lorac Resort palette. I got this off of Hope Look and I always have a link to Hope Look down below. It is a great place to get um, high-end makeup for less of a price. I got this for $15. So definitely check it out. That is an affiliate link, so I do get something. I'm not sure what if you sign up through my link. So you're welcome to use my link or not use my link. Um, but I've been using the shadows from here. I've used um, all of them except for this dark brown. I'm not really a browns person, so I tend to kind of avoid them, but I've used all the other colors, and I really am enjoying this palette. And then if I haven't been using that, I've been using a birthday present that I got kind of for myself. I had gotten some money, and I had um, a $10 off at Ulta, so I picked up the Urban Decay Naked 3 and I know you guys have probably seen this like a bazillion times but I have never had it before. I love these colors. Absolutely gorgeous. It is what I have on my eyes today. I do have on all of the other products um, that I told you about as well. And then for lips this week um, I've either been just putting on uh, one of my EOS lip balms because my lips have been very dry this week or I've been using this um, Tarte Lip Surgeons and Charmed which is what I have on. I got this in my Boxy Charm last month. I really really like these. Um, unfortunately the one that I got you can see is broken and so I've been trying to be very careful getting it on, putting it on with a lip brush. Um, I did email BoxyCharm and send them a picture and they're supposed to be sending me a replacement. So I will let you know um, how that whole customer service thing works out. The email process went very smoothly. I emailed them, told them it was broken. They asked me for a photo. I sent them a photo. They said, thank you, they will replace it. So I have not received it yet, but I will let you know. So that is my makeup basket for the week. Um, and now I'm going to go and switch it all out so I can try all different things uh, next week except for the stuff that I am trying to finish off with sort of personal project pans. I'm not doing an official project pan right now. I'm just kind of going through my stash and trying to dabble in a little bit of everything and see what can be used up. So look for more of those things later. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on social media because I'm constantly posting on there and I love interacting with you guys. And you know, leave me a comment. Let's have a chat. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>